Brazil witnessed an economic boom in the 2000s, and the country even surpassed the UK as the sixth largest economy in the world. It looked as if everything was heading in the right direction, but the joy didn't last for long. As a delayed effect of the 2008 global economic crisis, Brazil's growth slowed down, creating a cycle of inertia and dissatisfaction among the population. Since then, Brazil has experienced little growth and a seemingly never-ending political crisis, which could come to an end, or continue, with the result of this year's presidential elections. Economist Laura Carvalho describes this process as the Brazilian waltz. It consists of three movements, a step forward in the 2000s, a step to the side in the 2010s, and then a step back in 2016. But since then, what has been happening to Brazil? And where do we go from here? Our editor-in-chief, Gustavo Ribeiro, was invited to discuss that topic alongside Laura Carvalho on CNBC International's new mini-documentary, What's Holding Up Brazil's Economic Recovery? Check it out on CNBC International. And if you want to stay updated on what's to come for Brazil in 2022, our annual report is the place to go. In this report, we cover issues such as the impact of the presidential election on markets, stagflation, and the race between Lola, Bolsonaro, and Sergio Moro. So don't restrict yourself to speculation. Check out our website and become a Brazil insider today.